Okay, here's how you map any games that are analog in MAME, so Arcade Classics, and this is gonna be the case for pretty much all the uh, driving games, or not all of them, but most of them. So for example, Outrunners, uh, we wanna press tab on the keyboard, and you wanna go, you're not gonna get the screen here, you're actually gonna land on this screen here. So when you press tab, it's gonna bring you right here. Okay, so you go into input settings, and what you do is you navigate up and down with the left, uh, with the up and down arrow keys, and to go into something, you press the enter key. So we're gonna go into input settings, and you always wanna go into input settings or input assignments of this system. You don't wanna do general like this because that impacts all games. So if you go to this system, you press enter on that, that's gonna bring you to all of the inputs that are available for this specific game only. All right, so this specific game gives you five buttons. Okay, so buttons one through five, and then you have paddle analog, that is your steering wheel. So you always ignore INC and DEC. So you always concentrate on the one that just says paddle analog. You ignore paddle analog INC and paddle analog DEC. Same thing for pedal one, player one, pedal one, analog. That's the one you want. You ignore the INC and the DEC. Then you have your pedal two analog. That's the one you want. That's your break. You ignore INC and the DEC. And that's it. Those are the main inputs for this game. Everything down here is for player two. Okay, and then you go all the way to the bottom and then you do have your player one start and you do have your player one coin. So let's go back up to the top and let's map everything. So to map something, you highlight it, you press enter on the keyboard and then you press whatever button on the controller you wanna map that to. So in this example, I'm just gonna press my A button on the controller and now it says Joy 1A. Now, if you make a mistake and you wanna remap that to something else, you just go off of it like this. So I press the down arrow key go back to it, press enter again, and then press the next button that I want to map to it, or the correct button that I meant to map to it. Otherwise, if you leave it there, you press enter and you map another button, it's just going to do both of them. So it's going to have B or A. So to clear that out, you go off of it, go back to it, press enter, and now press the button. And I was going to have a single mapping there. Okay. So I'm just going to map all of these to my face buttons here. There's my B button. There's my X and there's my Y. So now I have all these buttons mapped to the face buttons. For player, uh, for button five, I'm just gonna map it to my right bumper. There we go. And the paddle is already actually mapped to Joy 1 LSX, which is your left joystick. But if you wanna double check or double, or just map it again. It's also mapped to the mouse, which we don't care about because that's fine. But I'm gonna press enter. I'm gonna uh, do left or right on my left joystick. And there you, there you go. Now it has Joy 1 LSX. Ignore INC, ignore DEC. Pedal one will usually be your gas. Sometimes I've seen it in some games where it's swapped where pedal one is brake, but usually pedal one is gas. So player one analog, I'm gonna do my right trigger. So this is already actually mapped. You can see it's mapped to right trigger there by default. Um, <clears throat> I'm mine because I wiped the config on yours, it might be different. And then pedal analog two is mapped to left trigger. Now notice it's right trigger, negative and left trigger negative. So if I wanted to remap that and I highlight it and press enter and I press my right trigger, the first time is gonna be just regular right trigger. What you wanna do is press enter again without going off of it, press right trigger again. Now it says right trigger plus, you press enter again. Now you press right trigger and now it says right trigger negative and that's what you want. You want joy one right trigger negative and then for this one here, let's say yours says something else. You hit enter, press the left trigger, enter again. Now it makes it plus, enter again, hit the right trigger. Now it makes it negative. So now you have right uh, joy one left trigger negative. That's what you want. Most games are gonna be for the Xbox controller, which is your 8 -bit controller or any other controller that is an Xbox style controller. It's gonna be negative for the triggers. So right trigger negative, left trigger negative. All right, you ignore INC, ignore DEC, go down to one start, hit enter on that, press my start button, and go down to coin one, press enter on that, and hit my back button or select button. So there's my joy one back. Now if I press tab again, gets rid of that. Now my coin should work, which it does. I press start button to start the game. And this game, I did notice, has a quirk. You see it says to press the accelerator, the foot accelerator to select your car. If you do gas, not gonna work. Oh, it actually worked this time. 
Okay, that might have been my mistake. I might have mapped something wrong before. So, ignore that. So, we're good. Everything's working. It's going to start a race real quick. There we go. I'm using my right trigger to accelerate. My left trigger to brake. And I can steer the car perfectly. That's it. 